it's been a bit of stop start sort of stuff with COVID and the WPJ and everything like that. How do you feel the game is coming into this week? Um, it's getting better, honestly. Last week it was a bit rusty, first competition back, but yeah, it's getting better as the week go, like goes on. So we'll just see how I play in the wind, hey. And mentally, you feel a bit refreshed after getting back to Sydney, seeing your friends and having some fun around things that aren't golf for a little while. Yeah, it was nice. I had a couple of weeks off. I went away with my boyfriend, and we just like hung out at the beach. So. I mean, golf is great, but not playing golf is even better after seven months on the road. So, yeah, it was really nice. I'm ready to get back into it, but I know it's going to be a long year ahead. So just enjoying Australia while I'm still here. And you had COVID, yes? Yeah, I coughed how, it. How was that? It was all right. I, I didn't have any symptoms, but I Not just the timing of it was just awful. I yeah. got it on the Tuesday morning of the WPGA. So I was so excited for the event and then, you know, yeah had to wave at everyone goodbye as I was leaving the car park. <laughs> Obviously a great year for you last year, Steph. Have you had time to reflect on it yet, all you achieved and all you did, or is it you're just rolling with the next year and you haven't had the chance sort of thing? Yeah, I think I'm just rolling with it. I mean, it's quite a quick turnaround. I, honestly, like, I don't really think anything of it. Like, I'm really happy I've ticked off some goals, but, yeah, I don't know, I just... I don't know what to say. Like, it's just like when people say I've done well, I just say, yeah. Thanks. You, yeah. and you, can play <laughs> so, much, no. you can play pretty much anywhere this year. So what's what's the plan? Where is it? Is it mainly Europe and some in the States? Or um, I think I'm going to go to the States more this year just to keep my card for next year. Um, honestly, yeah, it depends what events I get into and where I'm at and that. Hopefully this year I can actually come home in the middle of the year. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we'll just see how it goes. Just go on with it, not really. And how about this week? How, do you, how does the game feel right now ahead of this, this one? Yeah, it's, it's definitely better than last week. I mean, copping COVID and then like trying to get back into it again was was tough, but it's still so early in the season. So just getting back into competition golf is good. And how much have you played here before? I've played here twice before, uh, pre-COVID. And yeah, it's one of my favorite events. I was saying to some of the boys I was playing with in the Pro-Am, it's such a good atmosphere and it's just, yeah, one of my favorite events of the year. And how'd you go on those two occasions? Yeah. Um, I can't remember the first, but the last one I made both cuts, but I just remember, oh no, the first one I missed the cut because I had like seven over when it was like 60k wins. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so, all right memories, not, nothing but, amazing, yeah. but. As you a few days like this. Then, <laughs> yeah. oh, um, I, I think you played with Kevin Kirkland and James yeah, Sullivan did. today. Did you the hand, big out, boys. hand out any stick? Is that what happens now? You finish third in Europe, you get to play with <laughs> CEOs. No, I was just. Corporate warriors. I was on my best behaviour today, you know, just trying to be nice. But the, Gavin played really good. He was trying to tell me this story about how he can only make one par around, trying to talk himself down. And then he, I don't know what happened today, but he just he scored quite a lot. But yeah, I had a good dad, good company. He's starting to get used to being a bit of a marquee player in Aussie <laughs> events. I know it's very new, <laughs> but are you starting to get used to having to do this sort of stuff and that sort of thing in a pro-am, or would you prefer for everyone to just talk about, say, Sue and Hannah, and you can just get about your work? Oh, I mean, it's nice that people talk about me. I know <laughs> the attention's always good, but honestly, I don't really feel any different to what I was a couple of years ago. But I guess, yeah, it's fun doing all this stuff because, like, not every golfer gets to do it, so... What are the plans as far as America go? I know you touched on this, but when, when are you actually going to go? And do you know what your first event, LPJ event is? Yeah, so I'm going in March. I have an event in Saudi Arabia. And I'm going to leave around, or? yeah, okay. leave around March 12th. So I'm going to go play that, then California the week after. And then, I don't know what's off. It's like two in California, one in Hawaii. LPGA. Then, yeah, yeah, LPGA. Yeah. And then I've got no idea for the and rest of the year. What about your living arrangement? Go and stay in hotels or you know, um, you like Aussie in tournaments? As well. Yeah, just go tournaments, tournament, stay in hotels. Yeah, tournaments, yeah. yes, hotel, Airbnb, yeah. whatever's around. I think, yeah. I don't know if host families are like a thing in America. Yeah. They were yeah. in the amateur days, so mm. might try to suss that out. Um, in the off weeks, I can um, go to Orlando, hopefully, use the Golf Australia house. But what about Caddy? Uh, Caddy Benji, I don't know where he is now, but. He's permanent, yeah. like. Yeah, Very I cool. got him. Got him for the year until he annoys me. Then I'll give him a sec. What's his no. name? No, Brewer. Is he Aussie? No, he's from the UK. Right. Yeah, he's um engaged to Whitney Hillier, who's oh, from yeah. Perth. Yeah. 
yeah, so they, they came over and I got in for these couple of events, which yeah. is good. 